Welcome to Dartfish Express in the Classroom. In this video series, you'll learn how to use Dartfish Express to record the performance of a task, analyze the performance of that task so you can make corrections of the performance with the student, compare the performances from before the initial taping and after the analysis using the Dartfish Express split screen function, and share the video with the student for reinforcement. In the first of our series, we're going to introduce you to Dartfish Express <clears throat> and take a look at some of the functions. First, let's open up the app. As you can see, previously made videos are saved for later use, unless you delete them. You can also add videos from other applications with the Add Video button. But today we're going to focus on Dartfish Express's recording function. All you have to do is hit Record, and then the red button on the side to start recording. And then you'll get pictures of people or whoever. That's my wife Joyce. Hello. Okay. Well, that's a video to show you how that works. Now that we've showed you how to make a video, let's show you some of the tools we have for manipulating the video. First, select one. There we go. Now down here, there's a little trough. That's where the stills will go when we start doing that. Play. Notice the pinch and pull to expand and move the thing. I really want to focus here. There you go. Now let's say there's a specific spot I want to get to. This is the jog dial. This allows me to move forward and backward in the, in the video to any spot I want. We'll use this later when we're also lining up the two videos next to each other just to compare them. That's it for now. Next time we're going to talk about adding analysis. Thanks for watching.